This one, you know, a couple picks later here in the fifth round, they take the cornerback Cameron Mitchell out of Northwestern. Um, 5'11", 191. NFL had a round seven slash priority UDFA on this guy. So, um, I don't know. Derek, why don't you kick it off real quick? What do you know about Cameron Mitchell and your quick takeaways on him? One of my favorite picks of this draft, the okay. NFL, the, re- the reason why they had that grade on him is because he has dealt with a lot of injuries, and that's literally been the only problem with him, other okay. than he's not like the fastest guy. But you're getting a guy who, in a year, is probably going to step up and be your slot corner. Okay. I wondered about that because of what I was reading about him. Sound like he's mm-hmm. more apt to be playing in the slot, and, and he's a little bit more physical. Am I right on yes. that? Physical, tough, run support, mm-hmm. that kind of thing. But the thing with him that I love, and I, we've constantly had this conversation about the rovers and the versatility mm-hmm. and the guys who can do all kinds of things. This is another one of those players. He can come off the edge and blitz. He's done it multiple times at Northwestern and been effective. Uh, like you said, he's he's strong. He's physical. He plays aggressive. And, you know, when you look at the performance against the good receivers in the Big Ten, he was fantastic. He gave Ohio State a living hell all day long playing against those receivers because he was great at jamming guys. And the Browns signed Mike Ford to come in and play that slot corner role day one. But this is a guy who's going to get in rotation this year. He's going to be a special teamer this year. But next year, I see him stepping up. And I, boys, I love, and I mean love, the Browns cornerback room right now. It, I would say, is, I, it couldn't be any better. So dad. far, I mean, it's it's who am I to question Andrew Barry selecting cornerbacks at this point? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So... Justin, anything on Cameron Mitchell you want to throw out? The only thing I'll touch on, I love everything you said there, man. I I didn't know a lot about this kid coming into uh, yesterday, Mm -hmm. but I, I, as soon as they said the pick, I was like, well, I mean, we lost Greedy Williams, you know. Mm -hmm. I, I, to this day, I still don't think you can ever have enough quarterbacks, um, you know, as far as just injuries and everything goes. So um, I like the pick. I don't really know a lot about him. I got to do a little bit more research on him. Um, but I mean, I like as far as for where you got him, and don't always trust the uh, you know the NFL mm-hmm. land stuff, you know. Right? You don't know exactly because it was yeah. just because of injuries. That was literally the only thing. And not to feel better about it, not to float my own boat here, but this is a guy that I mocked to the Browns multiple times, and to see his name called at some point in this draft, I was like, let's go. <laughs> we got one of the guys that got my eyes. Thanks for listening to another episode of The Dogs Podcast. Make sure you subscribe on YouTube and follow us on Twitter at The Dogs Podcast. Get your thoughts on the show at thedogspodcast.com.